As if you needed another reason to support Bernie Sanders, he just took a stand on an incredibly significant issue. So when it comes to the war on whistleblowers that has been waged by Obama and now Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders has declared the side that he's on. He's on the side of whistleblowers. Now, as Ryan Grimm writes in an article for The Intercept, Bernie Sanders pledges to end practice of prosecuting whistleblowers under the Espionage Act, and he writes, The century-old law had largely gone out of fashion until it was deployed heavily by the Obama administration, which prosecuted eight people accused of leaking to the media under the Espionage Act, more than all previous presidents combined. President Donald Trump is on pace to break Barack Obama's record if he gets a second term. He has prosecuted eight such whistleblowers, five of them using the Espionage Act, according to the Press Freedom Tracker. The Espionage Act, which was passed in 1917 to suppress opposition to World War I and now considers leakers to effectively be spies, makes a fair trial impossible, as relevant evidence is classified and kept from the defense, and the bar for conviction is low. The law also comes with stiffer criminal penalties and longer sentences than more obvious charges that might be leveled, such as mishandling classified intelligence. Asked if he would give a second look at the record-setting length of the sentence doled out to National Security Agency contractor reality winner Sanders demurred, saying that he was supportive of whistleblowers but unfamiliar with her case. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who joined Sanders during the interview, agreed, I don't want to speak out of turn when it comes to reality winner, but I just think that the prosecution of whistleblowers is frankly against our democracy. We rely on whistleblowers. We rely on journalists in order for us to hold our systems accountable. And that is really important for him to say, I am taking the side of whistleblowers. That is, that's fantastic. That would be a change that is much needed to protect democracy, right? To allow people to not fear that they're going to be harshly prosecuted under the Espionage Act if they leak information to the public that the American people need to know. Now, having said that, we still have to push Bernie Sanders in a more positive direction. I would like a firm commitment from him to protect and pardon whistleblowers such as Reality Winner, Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning, and Julian Assange. Now, Julian Assange is not an American citizen, but I mean, to drop the charges, to not prosecute him, to not, you know, opt for his extradition, that would be huge. Now, to her credit, I think Tulsi Gabbard is the only presidential candidate who has actually said, I would pardon these whistleblowers, but this is still a huge thing for one of the frontrunners, like Bernie Sanders, to say, to take a stand here, to draw a line in the sand and say... We're no longer going to prosecute whistleblowers under the Espionage Act. That's important. We just got to press, press him, you know, a little bit harder to maybe opt for pardoning them. Now, I do want to play a really quick clip from Ryan Grimm's interview so you can hear it from Bernie Sanders himself. Uh, referred to the whistleblower in the White House as a spy. And a lot of Democrats jumped on him for that. But his administration and the last one have both used the Espionage Act to prosecute leakers. Do you think the Espionage Act should be used to prosecute leakers? The law is very clear. Whistleblowers have a very important role to play in the political process, and I am very supportive of the courage of that whistleblower, whoever he or she may be. So look, this is really important, and this shouldn't be a thing that presidential candidates should even have to address. It should just be, you know, common procedure that, of course, we stand up for whistleblowers. People who expose corruption, who expose our government's war crimes, shouldn't have to fear prosecution. They already know that they're going to be persecuted by powerful people for exposing these things, but they shouldn't have to fear that they will be jailed if they expose things that the American people need to know. And Bernie Sanders here is saying what needed to be said a long time ago so i really give him credit here because this is huge and as edward snowden puts it whoa yeah what was right because this really is huge um we need this it was really demoralizing to see president barack obama aggressively prosecute whistleblowers harsher than any other president that was awful and that set a precedent that, of course, led to Donald Trump and future presidents potentially doing the same thing. But Bernie is saying, I'm not going to do that. Other presidential contenders need to also commit to not prosecuting whistleblowers. Now, would I believe them? No. So I believe Bernie Sanders. That's what's different. But to hear him say it, even though I knew this was the stance that he would take, it just reaffirms the fact that he is the real deal. 
and we all need to rally behind him if we want to defeat the establishment in 2020.